And so guys, whatever food you tend to overeat in the house, keep it out of the house. So every time you have a desire to eat it, you have to get dressed. By the way, guys, it doesn't just work for adults, it also works for kids. Every time they bugging you for anything, tell them they can have it if they go and get it themselves. And guys, even if your kids and you end up going to the store to pick up some candy or whatever it is you were craving, at the very least, you'll do a walk, probably maybe some stairs and some movement, some exercise. And maybe, maybe, while walking, you'll make a better decision to get something better for you. Like maybe nuts and seeds, maybe some carrots to crunch on. You have to go out, you have to get through the store and check out and then get back home and waste time and energy. Most probably, you're not gonna do it. Especially if you have some healthy snacks around. And now guys, let's continue our masterclass on how to make snacking, excess snacking or unhealthier eating habits inconvenient and more difficult to do. Like one of my things at some point was eating too many nuts and you know, too much of any good thing, like overeating is not good in general, no matter what you eat. And so my thing was eating too many nuts, right? And one of the tricks or food hacks I used to use is making it more difficult to eat each individual nut. And here's what I mean by that. And here I have a prep, Ziploc container, so it seals, reseals, and some pumpkin seeds. So if you want to start snacking less on nuts, make an agreement with yourself. So each time you want to eat one nut, you have to open the container, you have to take just one nut or one seed, um, doesn't work with everything, like hemp seeds are too small. Then you reseal it, then you eat it, and then for the next one, you gotta open the bag, take just one piece, seal the bag again, and then eat it. And do it with every single piece. <laughs> Another good one. If you're someone who enjoys an occasional piece of chocolate sometimes, so to make yourself stop eating chocolate in excess, have another agreement with yourself or food rule. So each time you want to eat a piece of chocolate, you gotta first start with a big whole carrot. So you can have your chocolate, but each time you have to eat a carrot. So you can have your chocolate, but each time you gotta have your carrot. And I even have a small prep for you. That's how it looks. Give me a second. So each time you want to have a piece of chocolate, you're going to have a whole carrot. And yes, guys, one of my best tips about healthier eating. And at the end of the day, guys, it's not what you know that are gonna change your lifestyle, your health, your fitness, your nutrition, is how you can manage yourself to actually do what you know and do it better in a more convenient and less time and energy consuming way. And that's, as a coach, what I help my clients to do. Um, of course, I have some tricks up my sleeve, but most importantly, as a coach, I help people to do what they know they should do.